Welcome back to Silent Hunter 4, Bastards of the Pacific, where things are about to get tense. Um, we left off last time being, I don't know, 200 or so nautical miles off the Japanese coast. Um, only had a run in with two warships so far, which is surprising. Um, but I have spotted an opportunity. And that is... Sorry about that. Um, I've seen an opportunity down here. What you'll see is deep water, deep water, fairly deep water, fairly deep water, and then an open facing port at uh, Ishinomaki. Now, of course, we could spend time and fuel and battery power patrolling all the way around here, but there's a good chance we might not get very much, whereas here we have an opportunity to take stuff out in port. Now the downside is, especially with two ports so close together, we're going to have a lot of frigate activity sweeping along here. So we'll have to be very very careful, but um, I feel confident proceeding, so let's just move ourselves down here. It's not very fuel efficient, but we need to be in the deepest water possible. And we'll hold position about here and wait for nightfall, and then try and dart in. Off we go. <coughs> Batteries are fully recharged, that's good news. Oh dear. Oh dear, dear, dear. Okay, we need to immediately periscope depth and uh, sorry, I'm reacquainting myself with with work controls here, but we need to <coughs> Where is it? Alright, first of all periscope depth, that's important. And where is the battle stations? That's the deck gun control. Ah, here we go. Warship. Closing, yes, sir. Very free. So all crew to battle stations. And <coughs> we need to rig for silent running if we're gonna get through this. Somewhere through here. Oh, apparently, we need to be submerged for that. To... Why aren't you? Okay, in that case. <coughs> Some reason we aren't diving. In your own time, gentlemen. Okay, looks like just the two of them. It's a rig for silent running. And let's see how they move. A merchant as well. We are coming at them at a pretty good angle actually. How far out are we? 2.7. Hey, 
he's getting something. No, that's not right. Something like this, at least parallel to that. So let's assume he's tracking this way. <coughs> We're about to enter range, so let's slow down a bit. He hasn't pinged us yet, which is good news. Let's go to periscope's depth. He has passed us, but we might be able to get a strike on his mate here. Come on, up we raise. Up we raise. Alright, now it's important to stop your engines, of course, because otherwise you'll create a disturbance on the surface of the water. Let's go to the attack periscope. See what we can see. <coughs> Bit of a sore throat coming on, which you can probably hear. Oh, this does not help us at all. Let's have a look at you. This is as close as my zoom goes. Position keeper on him, and we need to identify him. Oh god, he's coming into range quite quickly as well. So, the Japanese, it's not a battleship. Front heavy. Single stack. We're going to miss our opportunity here if we're not careful. He's moving at quite a pace. solution. Torpedo settings, high speed, contact, and we'll run it shallow. Let's see what the... the attack computer. God, I should have prepared better for this. Here we go. Attack map. What's the word on the street? speed, contact. Um, I'm guessing he's going to slam the brakes on, so I'll put a bit of a donk. Fire. And three for luck. A little bit of a further spread. Let's see. <coughs> God, he's closer than I'd like. Where's his mate? Ok, 
Okay, he hasn't noticed us either. There you can see the wake of the top. Oh! One hit kill. Now, that wasn't the full firing procedure, of course, because um, for some reason I haven't turned on realistic aiming, so I will do that for the next next mission. Um, so I didn't have to calculate his speed and bearing. But we did manage to avoid detection, and we have taken down a sub-chaser. Which is good news, because the last thing we need is to be chased. Where is his mate? Stupid clock. That's a medium gunboat. Well, he went down quickly. That's that's encouraging. Seems like he's just bailing the f out of here. Nice. Chalk up a kill. And with that in mind, we will free from battle stations when I can remember where the fuck the control is. There we go. Or else you guys don't get any rest or sleep, so they begin to perform poorly. From we'll leave on silent running for now, and we will return to course. <coughs> now there's a, there is a merchant ship here, actually, which we could come up for. Let's. move up this way. I don't think we're going to catch him, but maybe. Oh, he's turned in on us. Okay, okay. Um... That is too perfect. Yes, sir. Let's stop, see how far out he is. No, I think we're still out of range. Yes, sir. Let's move in a little bit closer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. After this we should surface really, so we've got the batteries fully charged for the port raid. Periscope. Haven't reloaded those forward tubes. Hopefully that doesn't bite us. Oh, full moon tonight. Hello. That is. This is just for practice, really, because this is genuinely necessary. It is a modern passenger liner. Oh no, that's double crane. Double crane. Could be a large old split freighter. That's the one. Okay, so we send that to the torpedo bloke. We'll get off recognition book. Position keeper is on. High speed. Contact. Thank you. Shallow draft. Fire. High speed. Contact, shallow draft, no spread, fire. Next mission we'll aim in a bit more detail um, 
for specific things. We could actually surface, actually. I don't think he's got a defensive gun emplacement, which means we could just save our torpedoes, surface, and shoot it in with the deck gun if these miss. Which I'm hoping isn't the case. Have we missed? Have we missed? No, we haven't. Unless the torpedoes are duds. Please don't be a dud. Oh my god. Has it passed under him? They passed under him, twat! Right. Never mind. Never mind. Surface the boat. I'm not wasting more torpedoes on that twat. Battle stations, please, gentlemen. Fire at will. And aim at the waterline. I have to make sure we keep up with him. Let's go ahead one third. It's a stern mounted gun. Okay, well, we'll handle this ourselves. Yes, we can stop at this point. Damn, the conning tower's in the way. Um, yes, sir. Rudder take us back left, please. Rudder one, three. Rudder two, yes, sir. eight. Torpedo missed, sir. I know the torpedo yes, missed. Switch to Two long piercing ready. rounds. Torpedo missed, sir. Yes, sir. All stop. Zero. Now we will be piercing the hole below, below the water line and it becomes about basically reaching a critical um a critical level of um damage in the correct places before he'll begin to list and then eventually sink. Um we can damage all sorts of individual components which is always worth doing. And we have to watch for any help that might come to him. Obviously this does compromise our position a bit, but given that we missed with the torpedoes, we compromised ourselves anyway. I'm trying to... I'm trying to spread the hits a bit. Excellent. So what we'll do. Slam yes, it in sir. reverse. Back slow. And we'll try and three, swing around to come back at him. Destroyed. Excellent. Not a bad start to our first patrol. Let's go pay him a visit. Where is he? Where are you? There. Sorry, this is as fast as the camera goes. <laughs>
Oh, we're going to be too late. We can watch him going down. I think. No, there's too much oil and stuff in the water. Damn it. Promise you we'll get the next one. In the meantime, let's return to course. And return to the bridge. Uh, since we're already on the surface and people know where we are anyway, let's... send a contact report and an update. There we go, we've reported that we've sunk a sub-chaser and a medium-old composite freighter. Not bad, we're cracking on for 5,000 tonnes sunk. Um, it's still our first patrol, although we did kind of uh, get those handed to us on a plate because we didn't have to do the the real meat of the, the actual work, um, which won't be the case next time. But at least I got to show you um, elements of combat. Now, of course, this is going to attract some attention, so we'll get the frig out of here. Okay, so off we go. Heading off for our port assault. I hope you'll join me for the next episode, where we will be, hopefully, if we can get past the bouncers, attacking a port and adding to our tally further um, then I'll probably take it back uh, rather than ask for another mission so we can switch off the uh, automatic aiming which really takes all the skill out of the game <laughs> um, so apologies for that thanks very much for joining me and I'll see you next time